Oh, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing just fine. I got to bring you some wonderful word today from Jesus, from the Father, you understand? I got to bring these words out to you and I hope they be a blessing to you because you got to understand that our life is based upon faith. Our Christian life is based upon faith. It's based upon faith. So we have to ask ourselves, where do we channel our faith? Do we channel our faith to the world way of doing things? Or do we channel our faith to the way that God wants us to do things? So you got to understand where you channel your faith. Because where you channel your faith is going to determine where you end up at. So today, I just want you to understand that the word of God will only build in you through faith. But if you have no faith in the word, it will not work in you. So you have to understand that and you have to believe that and let it grow in your life. But before I get started in this word today, I want to give honor to God and I want to give honor to Jesus Christ. And I want to thank him for the Holy Spirit that now dwells in me and you. You understand that dwells in me and you. And believe me, the Holy Spirit is a teacher. If you willing to submit to the Spirit and let it teach you. But you understand this though. It can only work by faith. Everything that we do works by faith. And that's what you got to understand. If you don't have no faith in the word of God, it's not going to work for you. But if you have faith in the word of God and you put your hope in the word of God, it will work for you. But before I get started into the message, I want you to understand one thing. I want you to understand the definition of faith. See, faith is to believe or assume that something is true, to accept it as true, to trust it as true. And if you trust it as true, that means you will commit to it as true and to have confidence as true. So you have to have confidence in the word of God. You got to have confidence in Jesus. You got to trust Jesus. You got to trust the word of God. You got to accept Jesus or you got to receive Jesus and you got to receive the word of God and you got to believe that the word of God is true. And you got to believe that Jesus is true. You got to believe that God is true. You got to believe that the Godhead is true. And you got to believe that God's word is true. Because that's where faith is established. And you got to put faith in that word in order for that word to work in you. So you understand everything that pertains to a Christian life is operated by faith. Without faith. It is impossible to please God. You got to understand that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So I'm saying, learn to grow in faith. Learn to grow in faith. But I'm going to teach this basically out of Hebrews 11. I'm going to go over some scriptures with you. And I hope it show you how faith operate and how you have to operate that faith in this new covenant, in this new testament. And you got to operate out the same faith. And when you operate out of faith, you got to operate out of obedience to the faith in order for the faith to work in your life. But if you don't be obedient to what you believe, it's never going to work. That's all I can tell you for right now. But Let's go to Hebrews 11, verse 1. Hebrews 11, verse 1. This says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is. Now, let me translate this verse like this right here. Faith is the faith of of things hoped for. See, faith is the faith of things hoped for. See, your substance is faith. 
See, so your substance is faith. Faith is the faith of things hoped for and the faith of things not seen. And your evidence is your faith. So when you read this verse, you should read it like this right here. Now, faith is the faith of things hoped for. So you got to build on that substance. You got to build on that faith. And, the, and then, then it said, the faith of things not seen. So when you look at substance and when you look at evidence, replace them with faith. Faith is the faith of things hoped for. The faith of things not seen. So what he's saying in that whole verse is you got to have the faith. He said you got to have the faith and you got to let that faith operate in your life. Because faith is your substance and faith is your evidence. Now, so when you get done with the whole verse, what it is really telling you is based on faith. So where do you channel your faith? Where do you channel your faith is what you need to continue to ask yourself. Then it says, for by it the elder attained a good report. So by it, but what it says, for by it, it says, for by faith the elders attained a good report. See, it was the faith that gave the elders a good report. It wasn't the law that gave the elders a good report. It was the faith. It was the faith. It was the faith. So everything happened by faith. By faith. You got to remember, it's by faith. So when you know it's by faith, you got to know where you are channeling your faith. Then it goes on to say in verse 3, though, through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, or that the word was, or that the world was created by the word of God. Through faith, we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So it took the invisible to make the physical. And you got to believe that. It took the invisible God to create the physical world that we now live in. And you got to believe that. So where do you channel your faith? Where do you channel your faith? So everything happened by faith. Everything happened by faith. By faith. Look at here. By faith. Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he attained that he was righteous. That he was righteous. God testifying of his gift. And by it, he been dead, yet speaks. So look at here. By faith, Abel became righteous. By faith, in God's eyes, in God's way of thinking, Abel became righteous by faith. You got to understand that. Then it also to go on to say, by faith, Enoch was translated, translated that he should not see death and was not found because God has translated him or taken him up but removed him. For before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased God. He had a testimony that he pleased God. But you understand this, though. How did he please God is the question that you need to ask. We looked at the body of the first, but it said by faith. It says by faith. Understand. It said by faith, Enoch pleased God. So what happened with Enoch, it happened by faith. Because he had his faith in God. And that faith that he put in God is what pleased God. And so it's by faith. So now I'm going to ask you again, where do you channel your faith? Do you put your faith in God? When you put your faith in God, then you are pleasing God. So where do you channel your faith? 
Then it say in verse 6, but without faith. Oh, understand this. He said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So where do you channel your faith? That's all I can keep asking you. Because where you direct your faith, it's going to determine your income, your outcome. Where you determine your faith, where you channel your faith, is going to determine your relationship with God. And if you want to please God, you can only do it by putting your faith in God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is God. You must believe that he is God. So it still happened by faith. So it still happened by faith. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks him. And that God reward them that diligently seek him. But it happened by faith. Do you, do you have faith? That God is a rewarder to them that diligently seeks him? See, that's the part a lot of people miss. Diligently seeks him. Do you have faith? Do you believe God will reward you for them that diligently seeks him? Through faith and by faith. So only by faith can you please God. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. You can do all these rituals and you can set this day as a holy day and you can do all these things. You understand? But if you don't have faith in God, you can't please God. You can get up and go to church every Sunday. You can go up there and pray. You can do all the things that look like it's godly. But if you don't have faith, and God is useless. You can do your tithing, as they like to say. You can give your offerings. You can do all that. All that look good. But where is your faith? Where is your faith? It's by faith that you say through grace. <laughs> you understand? It's by faith that you are righteous. It is by faith that you are saved. It is by faith that you are delivered. It is by faith that you become a new person in Christ Jesus. So where is your faith? Where do you channel your faith? Where do you channel your faith? It's the answer. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I channel my faith in God. Because I know it's by faith in God that makes my life right. I know it's by faith in God that he's going to provide for me. I know it's by faith in God that I'm saved. I know it's by faith in Jesus that I've been delivered. I know it's by faith that I had the Holy Spirit in me. I know it's by faith that I've been set free indeed. I know it's by faith that I live a life of deliverance. I know it's by faith that I don't practice sinning. I know it's by faith I'm learning how slow to speak. I know it's by faith I'm learning how to be slow to anger. I know it's by faith I have the Spirit in me and working through me. I know it's by faith. Everything that happens for me in my life is by the faith that I put in God. It's by the faith that I put in Jesus. It's by the faith that I put in the Holy Spirit. It's by the faith that I put in the Word of God. So I'm finna tell you right now, it's by faith for you to win. It's by faith for you to deliver. It's by faith for you to be healed. It's by faith that you prosper. But you gotta put your faith in God. But you got to put your faith in God. You got to put your faith in God's plan for your life. You got to put your faith in his son, Jesus Christ. You got to put your faith. But also understand this. When you put your faith in God, guess what? You got to be obedient to God. If you put your faith in God, you got to be obedient to God. And if you're not obedient to God, 
I'm just going to tell you, you must not have your faith in God. Because if you put your faith in God, that means you trust God. And that means if you trust God, you're going to be obedient to God. Because if you trust God, you're going to do God's will. So it's by faith that you operate. It's by faith that you do what you're supposed to do. It's by faith that you honor God. It's by faith that you honor Jesus. But if you take away the faith, you can't honor them. You can't honor them. Let's talk about some more of this stuff by faith. See, by faith, Noah became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. See, by faith, Noah became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. So, righteousness come by faith. Righteousness come by faith. Right standing with God come by faith. Being justified come by faith. Being born again come by faith. So where do you channel your faith? All these things you have to understand about the word of God is about faith and about channeling your faith in God's plan. Turning your faith in God's will and being obedient to it. Because when you got true faith, you're going to follow Jesus. Because if you got faith in Jesus, if you got faith in God's word, you're going to obey God's word. You're going to follow God's word. You're going to live by God's word. Your life is going to be built around God's word. Because your life is going to be built around God because you got your faith in God. You got your faith in God. Then it say, by faith, look at here. Then it says, by faith, Abraham obeyed. <laughs> I'm not going to read the whole verses. So uh, that's Hebrews 11.8. Uh, by faith, Abraham obeyed. By faith, Abraham obeyed. So understand this then. When he's telling us that by faith, Abraham obeyed, so faith produced obedience. Faith, true faith, produce obedience. True faith will make you obey God. True faith will make you follow Jesus. True faith will make you obey the Spirit. True faith, produce obedience. True faith. So where do you channel your faith? Where do you channel your faith? <laughs> now go with me to verse 11. Hebrews 11, verse 11. Through faith, also Sarah. Sarah judged him faithful who had promised. So I'll say, so what it's saying right here, through faith, also Sarah judged God faithful who had promised. So she looked at God through faith, by faith, and seeing God as being faithful and trustworthy to do what he said he has promised. So, that means through faith. When she's seen that faithful God, that means she trusts God and believes that God would do what he promised. But it only happened by faith. If you have no faith, you can't get no father. But if you got faith, you can see the future happening through God. By faith, you know you're going to receive the promise of God. If God promised you something, you're going to get it. And you know you're going to get it only by faith. Because when you look at God by faith, then you see the faithfulness in God, just like Sarah. Just like Sarah. Just like Sarah. And then a uh, verse, let's go to verse 17. Just a quick lesson today, more or less for you. But it's by faith. Then it say by faith. Understand this. He said, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried or tested, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promise, offer up his only begotten son. 
of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead from where also he received him in a figure. In the figure of Jesus Christ. Raised him up. But it was by faith Abraham was obedient to God. It was by faith Abraham did what God wanted him to do. It was by faith that he had in God's words. It was by faith he believed the word of God and he acted upon it. It was by faith because he trusted in God. It was by faith because he had confidence in was God. It was by faith because he received what God said to him. It was by faith you got to understand it. It's by faith. Then it goes on to say, in verse 21, by faith, Jacob, when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worship, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, he blessed them. By faith, because everything has got to be channeled in faith, and your faith has got to be in God. Then it says, by faith, Moses, when he was born, was here three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king commandments. By faith in God, they wasn't scared of the king commandments. You got to understand. By faith in God, you shouldn't be scared of the world ways. You shouldn't be scared of what people think about you. Uh, they can call you all kind of names. But you know what? You still stand by faith with God. See, by by faith in God, you become strong. By faith in God, you can withstand anything that come at you. By faith in God, you are courageous. By faith in God, because you know God going to take care of you. By faith in God, you can see the blessing. By faith in God. By faith. Verse 24. By faith, Moses when he was come to years, refused to be called the sons of Pharaoh, the son, the son of Pharaoh's daughter by faith, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sins for a season. By faith in God, he didn't want to live a life of sin. That's what they call the Egyptians. He didn't want to live a life of sin. He want to live a life of righteousness. See, by faith in God, it makes you want to do what's right. By faith in God, it makes you want to do what's pleasing on the God. By faith in God, you want to live by His grace. By faith, though. You got to understand, all this is by faith. All this is about faith. Oh, this is about faith. Now let's go to verse 29. Like I said, it's more of a lesson. 29 through 34. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by the dry land. See, it's by faith that they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do were drowned. And the Egyptians tried to follow them and they got drowned. But it's by faith they was able to cross the Red Sea. By faith in God. You got to understand that. Where do you channel your faith? Then it says by faith. Understand this now. Understand this. He said by faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven, seven days. They went around the wall for seven days. And then the wall fell down. But it was by faith. And when you look at that faith, that faith made them obedience to God's word. Faith and obedience. Faith in God and being obedience to God's word. Hear me out. So you got to have faith in Jesus and being obedience to Jesus' word. You got to have faith in God and you got to be obedience to God's word. You got to have faith in the Holy Spirit and you got to be obedience to the Holy Spirit when it, when it talks to you. See, it's by faith and obedience. See, by faith and obedience, things good will happen in your life. 
You understand? By faith and obedience, you can live a Christian life and be prosperous. By faith and obedience, you can accomplish different goals in your life because you got God on your side. And when you got God on your side, you are a successor. By faith, though. But also with that faith comes obedience. If you if you if you hear what I'm saying, everything they did, they did by faith, but also that faith made them act outright. That faith made them do what God said do. By faith, they was obedience to God. By faith, they follow God's word. By faith, they did the will of God. By faith, they did it all by God. By faith. By faith. Then it says, by faith, the heart of Rahab prayers not with them that believe not when she had received the spies with peace. See, by faith, Holly was spared. Uh, Rahab was spared. By faith, Rahab was spared. Rahab could have been destroyed just like all the rest of them. But guess what? By faith in God, by being on God's side, by having faith in God, she was spared. By faith. And what shall I more say? For the time will fail me to tell, to tell of Gideon, of Barak, and of Samson, and of Je and of Jephthah, and of David, also in Samuel, and of the prophets. All this is by faith. This is how they operated. That's what you got to understand. They operated out of faith in God. And you got to operate the same day in this new covenant, out of faith in the new covenant, out of faith in Jesus Christ, by faith in Jesus Christ, by faith in the Father, by faith in the Holy Spirit, by faith in God's Word. And when you live by that faith, you will live according to the new covenant, and you will do God's will according to a new covenant. But it's only going to work by faith. You understand? You got to understand how they, they giving us history of how faith operated back then and how faith will operate in this new covenant. You understand? It's done by faith. It's not done, it's not done by intellect. It's not done by theory. It's done by faith. Do you put your faith in God? Did you put your faith in the new covenant? Did you put your faith in the new testament? I don't care what nobody say when it comes to a Christian and a Christian lifestyle and living in God's grace. You got to put your faith in God's grace. You got to put your faith in God. You got to put your faith in God's spirit. You got to put your faith in God's son. You got to live out it through faith. As James said, Faith without works is dead. But one thing I can tell you right now, if you got real faith, it's going to produce real work. Because wherever your faith is channeled, that's where your deeds going to follow. Whichever way your faith go, that's where you go. So you better make sure that you got your faith channel in Jesus. You better make sure you got your faith channel in God. You better make sure you got your faith channel in Jesus. You better make sure you got your faith channel in the Holy Spirit. You better make sure you got your chase channel in the Word of God so you can do the right thing. But this is not a faith of the mind. This is a faith of the heart. All that is with inside of you, you got to put your faith in Jesus. You got to put your faith in God because everything happened by faith. This is the Christian perspective. This is the Christian way. And we live by faith. And we live by faith in Jesus. We live by faith in God the Father. We live in faith by the Holy Spirit. And we live in faith by God's Word. And because of our faith, we learn to be obedient to Him. Because our faith will help us follow them. Don't get it twisted. You can't do it without faith. You can't do it without faith. And then it goes on to say in 33, Who through faith seduced kingdom? Because of their faith, they conquered kingdom. They did works of righteousness. They attained promises. They stopped the mouth of lions. They quenched the violence of fires. Escaped the edge of swords. Out of weakness were made strong. Ho! 
By faith they became strong. Out of weakness they became strong, you understand. Uh, and then they not, 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 not only they become strong, uh, they became villain, villain. And villain is to be courageous. They became courageous and fight. They became strong and fight. And they made the enemy run by faith in God. So if you want your enemy to run from you, keep your faith in God. Because when you got your faith in God, you got your protector working for you. You got the almighty God working for you. But you got to have your faith in God. You got to have your faith in Jesus. You got to have your faith in the Holy Spirit. I can't express it enough. You got to have the faith in the Word of God. And when you got your true faith working in you, and if you really got your faith in God, and when He tells you that you are a new person in Christ Jesus, or you are a new creature, or you are a new creation, old things have passed away. Oh, all things have become new. If you got your faith in God's Word, and you believe what God said, guess what? You're going to start living out that new person you are in Christ Jesus because of your faith. Not because of your intellect. Not because you read it, but because you believe it and you receive it and you transform. When he said by faith, you must be born again. And when you become born again, you will live in your faith. He said by faith, you will be set free. You understand? You'll be free indeed. You understand? But it happened by faith. He said by faith, you can be held. You can be healed mentally, physically, and spiritually. But it only all works by faith. By faith. Faith. Sin have no dominions over you, no power over you, you understand? By faith, you had a fruit of the spirits working in your life. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, all that. The fruits of the spirit, long suffering, goodness, gentleness, <laughs> temperance, all of that working in you by faith. By faith. By faith are you saved through grace. By faith are you made justified with God. Oh, let me tell you something. In order to live by the Spirit, you got to live by faith in the Spirit. And when you live by faith in the Spirit, then you will do what the Spirit say do. Now, understand that. It's by faith. It's by faith. By faith, you will know that you are a child of God. By faith, you will know that you have eternal life. By faith, you have a relationship with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God's words. By faith, you will receive forgiveness from God and believe that you have received the forgiveness of God. By faith, you know the operation of God is working in your life. So understand, it happens by faith. So today, I'm telling you, Put your faith in God. Put your faith in Jesus. Put your faith in the Holy Spirit. Put your faith in the Word of God from the heart, and you will follow your faith. It's that simple. And you will follow your faith because your faith will help you do what God wants you to do. Your faith in God will help you be obedient to God. Your faith in God will help you follow Jesus Christ. So where do you channel your faith today? Where you channel your faith today? As you know, that's the end of my message. But as you know, I'm on YouTube under Thomas Patterson. Feel free to go to my channel and su subscribe. As well as subscribe, feel, feel free to check out any video that's on my channel. And let God be a blessing to you. But you got to remember, for God to be a true blessing to you, it only happened by faith. So, today, what I want you to know is this right here. Keep your faith in God. Keep your faith in Jesus. Keep your faith in the Holy Spirit. And keep your faith in the Word of God. And after that, all I can tell you is, have a nice, blessed day. And a blessed week. In the name of Jesus, be blessed by faith.